Okay, so let's take a look into X3 and see what the home page looks like, and let's have a little look at some of the navigation around it, around it as well. Okay, so I'm in Google Chrome as a browser, and I'm just about to log in. And the first thing you see when you log into X3 is your home page. And the home page is comprised down the left hand side of what are called landing pages that allow you to view different, different uh, to see different views of how your business is actually performing. Now I'm logged in here as an administrator user, so I've got a, a, you know quite a few of these landing pages listed. But depending on your own security, you'll have you may only have a few of these yourselves. I've also got my own landing pages here that I've built myself. So as well as the standard ones out of the box, which actually can also be uh, 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 adjusted to the way that you work as a, as a, as a business, you, you can actually create your own landing pages. And when you select one of the landing pages, you get a, a screen in the middle looking a little bit like this. And you've got a number of options in terms of what you can see. Here, for example, we're seeing a dashboard of information coming from a BI tool, Sage Enterprise Intelligence. So we have a number of graphs and charts and KPIs that allow us to get, to get a really good real-time snapshot of what's going on around our business. Another way of using the homepage is, is to actually use it to monitor activities that, that, that actually require your attention. So here, for example, I'm in a CRM dashboard where I can see details of my appointments, open tasks, and calls that are, that are um, uh, awaiting my action. And I can click on hyperlinks here in order to drill down and look at those each particular, each particular line in more detail. Similarly, if I go to the manufacturing section here and click on the key information tab, I've got a couple of, couple of uh, sort of tables here that show me a, a snapshot of information regarding my manufacturing work orders. And again, I could actually click on the order number in each case to actually drill in further and see more information. As well as seeing dashboards and as well as these, these um, to-do lists, you can also use Sage X3 to, to work with what are called visual processes. And this is just an example of one here, um, walking us through the process from sales forecasting, orders, and maybe inventory planning, right the way through via purchasing, subcontracting, and manufacturing through to delivery, uh, sorry, through to quality control rather, um, placing the items into our warehouse and then, and then ultimately delivery an invoice to our customer. In each case, we can click on these icons to actually go into a particular function of X3. So you really can use these particular visual processes to follow the happy path to actually performing various tasks. As well as navigating your way using the visual processes, you can also use the sitemap in Sage X3, which is actually signified by the compass here. And that gives you a list of all, the, all of the modules and functions that you have access to. If I go down to financials, for example, you can see that a number of these functions have a, have, have a blue star next to them. And that tells me that I've actually bookmarked these. And the way to see my bookmarks is by clicking on the star in the top right hand corner here. And that gives me a list of all of my bookmarks that I've, 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 actually, I've actually created. You can see, you see I've got quite a few here. If I choose to, I can show the bookmarks across the top of the screen as well. Um, again, that might depend on how many we have saved. Okay, so okay, so that was just a really quick start off in terms of looking at what, see what, seeing what X3 looks like. So with that, I'd just like to now really close the session and say thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I hope you found it useful. And if you do need to get in touch, please use any of the details on the screen here, or you can email me directly. Um, it, it just remains for me to say thank you very much for joining and have a great rest of your day.